back guys and welcome to Witchcraft Criminal History. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. Well, we're doing a, another bo book I'm, uh, I'm opening. So yay! This is from um, a seller named Juniper Moon and she's got really lot of nice stuff. So this is all to do with witchcraft guys. All to do with witchcraft. So let's get into it. So how's everything been going for you guys? Hopefully it's been going a lot better than it is for me because I'm trying to move as you may or may not know. So yeah, let's have a look at it. There's a shop called Juniper Moon Apothecary. So if you need some things, especially dealing with herbs and all that, and you're in Australia, this place is really, really good. Hopefully it's going to be really, really good. I haven't dealt with them, but I've heard from a lot of people in the witching community that this lady is very, very good. So hopefully, you know, it's the first time I've got things from her, so hopefully it's going to go well. Alright, let's have a look. And if you see me looking down, I've got a, I'm looking after somebody's dog. So I'm just keeping an eye on her. So if you hear jingle, 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 that's the dog. So when you get a, the box, it comes in like that. That's what it comes by. Just gives you some pop puree. I'll definitely be keeping the pop puree. <laughs> can't go wrong with pop puree, can we guys, eh? You can't go wrong with pop puree. I love the smell of pop puree. So it comes out with this little card. Oh. Daisy! You have plenty of food. Uh, Daisy at the moment being a mischievous dog and just trying to eat something she shouldn't be eating. Oh, you just got to love animals, aren't you guys, eh? Oh, so she is... We've got a little crystal here which just popped out, which is really, really good. I don't know what any crystals, but... Yeah, thank you, Juniper. Alright, let's have a look. And it comes with this, and I think this is just the receipt. Yeah, just the receipts, which is good. So I forgot a few things, so they had it a second time. So, so yeah, but let's have a little look. All right. Aha. I just wonder what this is. I don't know what it is now. That's beautiful. There you go, guys. This is a little teaspoon for um, witchcraft and that. It is so tiny. That is so beautiful too. Look at that. Let's have a focus. 
Yeah, look at that detail on that spoon. Yeah, that's exquisite. And same with the handle. So, yeah, we got a little teaspoon. Look what's in here. Because it is on very funny paper. <laughs> at least they definitely secure the subjects very, very well. Oh, yeah, here we go. All of this for one. Thing. This is hot foot powder. You know, which is really, really good. What is it? Where's it easy? So, so yeah, here's some hot foot powder. Right, let's have a look at the next one. We all know what this is, we can hear the little dingles. Okay. Yeah, it comes with the also got a bell. And it's got Now it's got the pentagram on it, which is good, so... Alright, let's have a look at the other things. Okay, here we've got some things for oils. Let's have a look. Look at what we've got here. Ah, oh, this is a road opener. Okay, so here's some road opener oil. So yay! So this is a meant to make, you know, to open roads and all that to get things going, things that you want to get going, you know, which is really, really good. Let's look at that oil. One good thing with um, Juniper, at least it all comes, you know, very clearly marked. So you know what you're getting, you know, so you know which is oils and all that. And this is Dance of the Fay Oils. So this is Dancing of the Fae.
And it looks like it inside. Nice and pretty. So this is to do with anointing. So when I need to anoint candles, anoint objects, you know, I use that, you know, to anoint things, which is really, really good. So I'm meant to bring good things happening, really positive stuff coming in. So, yay. Okay, let's have a look. These are my herbs. What well, I've got a puff of hot foot powder. We got knot grass. Knot grass is apparently used for um, jinxes and curses. I've been trying to find spells for this. So, but I'll get there eventually, so, yay! But I've been probably be using this sparingly, because apparently it's a hard thing to get, it's not grass. So, I thought, well, she's got it, I'll strike that. Oh, I well, it's hot. So, so, yeah, it's not grass. Alright, we've got gravel root. So this is a gravel root. Gravel root is meant to bring in prosperity. It's good for good fortune, good luck. And for example, if you are going to um, go for a job interview and you want to have good luck to get the job interview, just get some of this and rub it on your feet, on the base of your feet, and that will get you. you that will give give you a higher chance of getting the job. And bring you good fortune and good luck and it's also good for you know like we say with fortune it's good to put some of this in your purse as well you know it's good for that because it attracts money and also a medicinal use as well for this as well as apparently in my studies with um gravel root that the native indians the american indians use gravel root in tea and when they use it for tea they use it for um urinary tract infections and problems with the kidneys so it's also really good for that as well whether i'm going to try that for that i'm not quite sure i don't really get urinary tract infections i don't really have any issues with my kidneys apart from being born with one too many and don't think all the gravel in the world can fix that up <laughs> and they're fully functional so there's no point in it but my mum suffers from it but I'm not exactly quite sure if I'm going to make my mum tea with this stuff. Even though this is all organic. And, and you know, it's really, really good at skin things as well. So, but I'm not quite, I'm a bit dubious about putting this into teas. <laughs> Uh, next one we got patchouli. And um, patchouli is a one to encourage you know money. It encourages money. It's good for banishing as well. Meant to give you higher things with sexual things. It's good for you know good for attraction. So if you want to get attract money, it's really good to attract money with it. And also one for fertility as well. So if you're in t trying to get pregnant, this truly is good for getting pregnant as well. It's good for fertility. And it's also really good for love. So a lot of these things are good for love as well. All right. And last but not least, we got chamomile. This is another one for money. It's for, it's for sleep. Reducing stress, healing, peace, and tranquility. So that's chamomile. Alright. So yeah, so this is all the stuff I've got from this um, unopening. And I'm 
very surprised about this beautiful little crystal, what she has thrown in there along with the pop your eye. And if you guys are interested in getting a reading or buying stuff from me, my Etsy channel is down below, so please go over there, click on it, and, and book your, your reading or buy some of the stuff what I also sell as well. So yeah, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and blessed be.